Both phones are equipped with dual 12 megapixel camera systems that utilize a second telephoto lens. The main lens on the iPhone 8 Plus has an aperture of f1.8 and the telephoto lens has an aperture of f2.8. Meanwhile, the Note 8's main and telephoto cameras have apertures of f1.7 and f2.4 respectively. The lower numbers on the Note 8's camera mean that they will be able to take in more light when shooting pictures. It should, in turn, perform better in low light conditions. The front camera on the iPhone 8 Plus is a 7 megapixel sensor with an f2.2 aperture that can record video at 1080p. The Note 8 sports an 8 megapixel sensor with an f2.4 aperture that can record video at 1440p. First off, looking at pictures from both phones, you seriously can't go wrong with either one. Both cameras pick up a lot of detail. In this shot, the Note 8 seems to handle the colors of the water and the sky better than the iPhone. The blues in the water on the Note look more like how I saw it, and the gradient of blues in the sky is also more apparent in the Note 8 shot. Looking at this shot of a building, the iPhone handles the different lighting of the picture better than the Note. The different colors in the iPhone shot are more vibrant and the building itself looks brighter. But the Note 8 seems to handle details like the glare off the car better. Some shots look so similar that it's hard to even compare them. In this shot, there was a big tree causing lots of shadows. Both pictures show great detail, but I think the iPhone overcompensated on the shadows too much. The red on the shirt looks almost painted and shadows seem to magically disappear. The Note 8's picture might not look as vibrant, but is the more close to life shot out of the two. In direct sunlight, the Note 8 performed better at maintaining details. In the Note 8 shot, the top of the building has more detail and the ground kept more of its natural color. The sun caused a blue tint to appear on the floor of the iPhone shot. This outdoor shot was taken under the shadow of a tall building. Again, both pictures are very detailed, but this time the iPhone handles the different lighting better. In the iPhone shot, the sky is still visibly blue, whereas the sky is washed out on the Note's shot. This shot shows how the light source can take over the iPhone's image. The light from the sun causes the iPhone shot to look more washed out, while the actual color shows in the Note 8's. Both show about the same level of detail. Colors on the iPhone's video look more pronounced and vibrant, whereas the colors on the Note 8's video look more natural. Here, the colors look prettier on the iPhone's camera, but the orange starts to consume the picture. On the Note 8's camera, the sun's light doesn't take over the entire video quite as much as the iPhone does. But still, I can see how people would prefer the iPhone's video. The image stabilization is significantly better on the iPhone's main camera, but its telephoto lens doesn't have any stabilization, so video becomes very shaky. Both cameras have similar depth effect features, but the iPhone's portrait mode pictures simply look more detailed and more natural. The front camera of the Note 8 seemed to be more accurate with color and handle non-ideal lighting better. But both cameras were great pictures despite of how dark it was. But the Note 8 doesn't have to do as much in terms of software to compensate for a lack of information. This results in more accurate colors and more details than the iPhone. There are some shots where the iPhone does process the image just as well as the Note 8, despite the difference in aperture. But the telephoto camera on the Note 8 widens the gap in terms of being able to pick up more detail in low light.